Are you ready, Vito? I am ready. Let's, Let's go. go. Thermometer, meter. Hello, guys from my studio, Copelli. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be special, like you can see here on the right side. We have, uh, we have the dome pizza oven from uh, Gosne. The new one, look at this, a beast oven. And on the left side, we have uh, the Unicaro 16 from uh, Uni with gas option. Another beast. Today, I'm going to show you, probably this is the only channel that does this thing, just me. I'm doing only these things because I want you the best. I want you to learn the best pizza ever and also the best equipment. Today in this video, I'm going to compare the dome from Gosni gas option compared to Unicaro 16 gas option. This is very in-deep uh, compar comparison because uh, we are going to see together several points. Which one goes faster in temperature? Insulation on the oven. How long the oven keeps the temperature inside the oven? Which one is faster to drop the, the temperature? We are going to see the sides of the inside, the sides of the door of the oven. So this way you, can, you are able to make the bigger pizza or smaller pizza. Which one is faster on cooking the pizza? Which one it's easier to use we are going to see everything guys and most of all guys please share help me reach this 1 million subscribers it's just the beginning guys just the beginning so let's go ahead and uh, let's get in deep this comparison now review comparison let's go enjoy this smash that like let's go are you ready Vito? i am ready let's, let's go, go. Uh, the first thing to do here is to see which one goes up in temperature first. So let's go ahead and let's fire up these ovens. So both ovens comes with uh, temperature, the thermometer. So this one right now, let's go ahead and let's fire up. One, boom. Okay, oven is at the, with a max flame inside, like you can see. And then the temperature right now is starting to, uh, it's 100 almost. Okay, now this one here, you can see also here, boom, it's 91. Let's go ahead and let's fire up this one too. Voila, we're gonna put it on max temperature. Close it. This one stays open. Voila. Okay, this one is right now is at, uh, just checking, right now is 140. We are looking at which oven goes in temperature faster. So this is the rule number one. I also have here a gun to see the stone, if it really goes in temperature that we want to. So right now the ovens are, uh, is uh, 260 compared to 270. Same time, so let's wait 30 minutes and uh, let's see. Okay guys, in the meantime that the ovens are going in temperature, we're gonna go ahead and measure the door uh, to put the pizza inside and then how deep it is because we wanna see how many pizzas uh, we can, uh, how big the pizza can be uh, and also how many pizzas you can put inside. So let's go ahead. This one here, the door is about, this one is 16 inches. This one here is also, actually this one is 17 and a half inches okay now let's measure the inside of the how deep it is this one is 18 and a half inches by 22 inches so it's in and a half deep by 22 inches inside so basically you can put two small pizzas around with with no no wood so only gas this one here is uh, deep 18 inches by 17 and a half 18 inches by 17 and a half like you can see the dome it's bigger so you are able to make a, a two pizzetta this one here probably you can also make it but it's gonna be tight right now like it's only 10 minutes pass by this one is a 430 and this one is a, at a 470. i want to get another uh, very important uh, point of these two ovens because we are using gas option so let's start with the dome, which I really uh, like on this uh, part, because uh, the side uh, burner, uh, the, the burner is on the side of the oven. That means that the oven, uh, the flame rotates inside and creates the pressure that we want to cook the Neapolitan pizza. So this is the pressure that I'm talking about. When you put the, the ends inside, it creates like a balloon, the pressure. So the side burner helps the heat consistently to stay inside and rotate and rotate and then 
also keeps the temperature a little bit more longer. But this one we're going to see together later if it really keeps the temperature. The Karu, uh, it's good burner and goes on top, which is uh, the, the good thing is that it makes the pizza a little bit more crispy. But also that one makes the pizza more crispy. But what happened is uh, that the, it doesn't create the, the, the heat. Uh, the pressure that we need to Neapolitan pizza. And like you can see also, ah, when the flames goes towards the, uh, the front, the heat goes out. Every time that you open the door, if you don't keep it closed, for sure it's gonna drop the, the, the heat and goes outside. So probably this one is gonna drop the temperature faster. Also, ah, I'm going to see this one later on uh, today. Both ovens comes with uh, two speed of flame, which is really important that you need those. So, High flame is, uh, to be honest, I use the bolt ovens and then uh, I always keep the oven at the max flame when there's no pizza. When I put the pizza inside, I lower down the flame. Like you can see, see? Speed high, speed low. So, when you make pizza, it's always better to keep it at the max temperature and then you lower down when you put the pizza inside. And then if you know that you're gonna make the pizza in 15 minutes or 20, just leave it alone. And then five minutes before, you fire up at the max temperature. So this is a good thing of uh, having the oven at a uh, two-speed gas burner. So this one is in the back, which is a little bit uncomfortable because this part, this part gets hot. Not too much on the side, like you can see I touch, but it's not in temperature yet. Uh, but we, we're gonna get there too. I cannot see it really well. So this is max speed and this is a low flame. Like you can see, it's good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, leave it at the max temperature. Uh, one thing that I like more this one is, uh, which is more comfortable, is this, the, uh, the bottom of the gas. You can regulate, the regulator of the gas is right in front that you can see and move has, uh, it's very comfortable. This one here is in the back, which uh, I recommend only to next time to put it in the front. This way you are able to adjust the gas uh, temperature, gas flame, a really, little bit more faster. I think we're gonna wait another few minutes and then the oven is ready uh, to measure the temperature of the, the, the bottom, the most important thing. Uh, both ovens are comparable uh, in between, so they, they're almost the same. So this is a fair comparison. Can't wait. Now we have the oven about, uh, this one is about 800. This is about uh, 730. So we're going to wait until they get around 850. And we're going to go ahead and measure the bottom of the oven because uh, at that temperature, the oven is supposed to be ready. Okay, guys, the ovens are ready. This one is uh, says all the line because uh, this one, uh, when it gets to 900 Fahrenheit, it goes, uh, the thermometer doesn't go anymore. This one is uh, 860, so we waited about uh, 30 minutes on the clock, about 35 minutes, not too much. Now it's time to go ahead and measure the most important part of the oven temperature, which is the bottom of the oven. So let's go ahead and let's measure this one. Now it's uh, at... Uh, 800, hold on, at the center, it's 850. Fair enough, so it's perfect to cook Neapolitan style pizza. Okay, let's go ahead and let's measure the dome. At the center, right now, is at uh, 850. No, 800, yeah, 850. Outstanding, both ovens have the same temperature so now what we're gonna do here we are going to test it with pizza most important thing here guys i want to let you know that this video was not sponsored from the two companies it was not sponsored from uni or was not sponsored from gosney so this is my own idea my honest review my honest uh, comparison of the oven just for you to let you understand which oven to pick or if you have it and uh, all the benefit of these ovens. The thing I want to see now is uh, so which oven will hold the temperature better. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off both ovens right now and see the temperature how they are going to drop. Of course we're going to keep this oven uh, open because the comparison uh, needs to be both in the equals equally. So let's go ahead and let's see how long it's going to take I want to see how the temperature drops. So this one's still high. So we're going to wait about 10 minutes and see how the oven will uh, drop the temperature. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to stop this video. I'm going to speed forward and see.
okay guys we waited only uh, five minutes because uh, 10 minutes uh, I noticed that uh, the ovens are dropping off uh, the temperature too much so uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna make pizzas right now this is to show you the uh, we're gonna talk about the insulation right now so here we go after five minutes we have uh, coming with this camera we have a uh, 650 Fahrenheit and this oven this oven is a uh, 480 uh, Fahrenheit so we're gonna go ahead and check out the bottom of uh, uh, the ovens. So how the drop off, how they drop the temperature. So see here, come here. So this is uh, 630, which is still good to make the pizza. And this one is uh, 632. Actually a little bit, lightly 650, which is uh, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, fire up again okay there we go so it's, it's a little tricky so I'm gonna put uh, at the max temperature the ovens both of them this is much easier to fire up but I cannot really see the flame let's say so it's on max temperature close it uh, so what we notice here that both ovens they go in temperature really quick uh, almost at the same time like you saw so insulation wise, so let's go ahead and let's test this. So this oven, it's hot. I don't suggest to touch. I touch it because to see. So this oven is a very well made. I, I really can't touch it. So see, this part, is, no, I can't even touch it. So I can touch it and uh, that means I can even listen, listen to this. Yeah. Insulation here, it's really, really well made. Very high quality. I love the insulation. That means that also, again, it's really good to cook the pizza. So now we go to the uni. Let's touch it. It's definitely uh, really hot. Well, don't touch the bottom because it's hot. So see, I can uh, barely touch it. It's really hot. I can tell it's more hot than that one. But also, it's, uh, it's made with the insulation here. You can see it's made with the insulation all inside around, but it's slightly, it's more like probably two inches thinner. It's two completely different designs. This is the stand of this oven. I mean, the dome, they made an amazing, amazing, good looking oven. I always say that this is probably the best good looking oven in the market. Also, here we have the stand of the uni, the complete set of the uni, the peels, uh, the, the table. It looks really nice. It's, it's lovely, it looks really good table. You can buy two and you have the, the nice set. The, the, this is more, a little bit more comfortable because you can also make, this is, you can use as a table prep. So you put the oven on top of some, something and then you are able to make this one as a prep station, which is, this one doesn't have. But also they have the, the thing, a lot of uh, things where you can, put the things, uh, the tools on top there, the peels. Also, this is the peels from the, uh, oh, I wanna talk another thing. The, si the, the peels to take out the pizza are both the same, hold on. The peels to take out the pizza <coughs> are the same, exactly. And then uh, we have a slightly different here is the, really, I like more the this peel because it's, uh, see, it's much bigger, so it's uh, this is, uh, 16 inches so they made a peel for this type of oven uh, gosney uh made uh, this peel a little bit too small for this size so when i make i want to make a big pizza i'm not able to use this peel or maybe i can but it's gonna go outside here today we're gonna make a, a 14 inches pizza so you're gonna see everything also is how it's gonna be cooked so what can i say guys smash the like share right now because there's uh, it's free consider it to subscribe and uh, let's go ahead let's prep everything to make this classic pizza margherita also i'm gonna make the two pizzas see how long it's gonna cook both together without editing anything and also i'm gonna go ahead and make right away another pizza to see the bottom of the pizza you're gonna make multiple pizzas how this oven will hold the temperature and boom guys echo qua guys there we go it's the time of the truth but of course i cannot make the pizza by myself everything is gonna be live time so sit down please watch until the end i have a friend of mine francesco 
Are you ready to make the pizza? Yeah, of course. We're Francesco. gonna make pizza together. We're gonna make the same exactly pizza, Neapolitan style, margherita. So, Francesco, which one do you wanna use? I uh, no. Make your choice. I, I mean, on this side, so I use this one. Okay. Space, a little bit of flour. The dough is, uh, if you guys wanna see how to make this dough, please visit my channel and uh, subscribe, please. Let's say this is one. Wow. And this is two. Voila. Boom. Really watery the dough. The same way. And after this, we're gonna go ahead and make another pizza right away. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna stretch, make Neapolitan style pizza. We're gonna go in the oven at the same time, my eh, friend. Yeah, yeah. So guys, here we're gonna judge the pizza oven, not the pizza. Parmesan cheese, classic margherita. After this, we're gonna make a classic marinara pizza. Fresh mozzarella. We're supposed to put the olive oil and things, but we're gonna put it after. Very important, we're gonna make a 14 inches pizza. Eh? Okay. And then uh, we lower down the temperature in both ovens. Okay. Hold on, this was uh, low already. Okay, Francesco, let's go. Let's go. Flour. This peel is really... Hey small so I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead outside because here the pizza needs to be big to be able to judge I'm gonna make a 14 13 inches pizza you know the measurements okay andiamo yeah I'm gonna go ahead together voila so no editing time here. We're gonna go ahead and see how long it's gonna be able to cook this pizza. So lower down the, the flame at the minimum. Actually, let's do medium. medium. I'm gonna put it in a medium. Okay. Medium? Yeah. Okay. Medium. How hot it is? 820. 824. This is, uh, this is uh, 750. Mine is already ready to turn. Attention on the pizza, eh, Francesco. Yeah, yeah. Be careful the pizza. I repeat, let's judge the pizza ovens and the cooking time, okay? I'm gonna lower down the minimum right now because I see that the oven is cooking well. The competition needs to be equal. And they have to see how complicated it is or how, or how simple it is to cook the pizza. Voila, guys. And uh, voila. Mine is also ready too. Okay, guys, uh, here you go. The pizzas. Show to the camera. Take go closer on the second one. Vai sopra, qua sopra. Here are the two pizzas, guys. I, I believe uh, they come out uh, almost the same. Yeah. I mean, boom, 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 guys. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see the better, let's see better the pizza on the bottom. But before that, let's go ahead, Francesco, right away, let's yeah. make another one. Let's see yeah, which yeah, one course, is gonna course, cook yes. faster. So the oven at the max, let's go ahead and let's make a marinara. This is to see if the pizza will, uh, this pizza oven will be able to cook multiple pizzas. So let's go ahead and let's make a classic uh, marinara. Francia, let's make the pizza a little bit more uh, 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 bigger, like yeah. a ruote di carro. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So, let's see, right away, so it's been like a minute. So, this is uh, to show you uh, how the pizza oven will cook multiple pizzas, to be honest. Because, uh, you know, when you put the pizza, the, the temperature of the oven, they drop. So, let's go ahead, let's make a marinara. Marinara looks easy, but uh, is the most difficult one to make. So extra tomato sauce, oregano, and then we have some garlic oil on top. This oven, uh, this pizza dough is very, uh, it's very hydrated. That's why it's a little difficult to, to manage. Voilà. You ready, Fringer? Ready? Fringer gets attack. Let's check. Okay, 
go ahead. And voila. The pizza is in the oven, lower down the temperature, like I say. Actually, this is a marinara, so medium, medium, uh, I'm gonna keep it at the medium uh, height, and we're gonna cook it. Let's see how long it's gonna take. But the most important thing is that we have to see how the bottom of the second pizza is going to be. If you see that the pizza cooks too fast, just lower down the temperature, and then that will help to cook the bottom too. Mine is ready. Oh, mine is ready only on more. the cross, only on the... Okay, know. if it's ready, you have to take it out. Yeah. Okay, pizza, it's a lovely ready mine. I'm gonna put it right here. Let's wait on Francesco. Yeah, it's completely low. Right, <clears throat> take it out. Voila. You made a hole. Yeah. Well, we have to judge the pizza. So, the cross is good. So the... Let's see, let's see, oh, wait, wait, let's see. Okay, let's come closer, guys. Let me show you the pizzas, how they look like. So guys, here we're gonna judge the pizza oven, not the pizza. Thank you so much, Francesco, for your help. And uh, let's finish up this pizza, and we're gonna go ahead and judge the pizzas again. This is garlic oil, so we're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of garlic oil on this. Voila, and uh, let's see close how the pizza look like at the bottom. So this is the pizza from the Uni, come here. So this is the first pizza, how you can see the, the, the look, and this is the second pizza. Actually, this one holds up. Uh, I, I see this a little bit cook well because the, the temperature was uh, lower. This is uh, from the uh, Uni, uh, this is from the Gosni oven. Let's see the bottom. Like you can see, it's a little bit more well and definitely much better cook. So we're going to go ahead and uh, compare this one. You know, you can tell that this uh, you can put like multiple pizzas. I made before 30 pizzas in the Gosni oven and then, to be honest, it cook fantastic. This oven, I never made too much pizza. So this is, let's compare both of them close. This way you guys can see and uh, you guys can judge us in the comments. So please, Francesco, wow, they look like almost exactly the same. Uh, at this point, what I can, uh, they, look, they look the same, to be honest. This one is a little bit more crunch, and this is a little bit more, but this is because the flame, too much heat. To be honest, it's just, uh, about, uh, just a matter of um, uh, comfortable, how comfortable you are with this oven. So I want to know your comment below what you think which one is better for you? What do you think? Which one did the... Uh, uh, I just want to know your comment in the comments to see what you think. I should also uh, review both ovens with wood option or not. Okay, guys, this was everything from uh, this uh, comparison, this uh, VS uh, pizza ovens. And then please tell me in the comments what you think. Uh, guys, share this video in the social media. Tag me on Instagram whenever you make a pizza. Vito Jacopelli. I'll see you every week with new video. Don't forget, tell me in the comments if you want to see this oven with uh, wood option or you want to see the comparison with different ovens. Coming soon, something new. Thank you so much for watching, guys, from Mr. Video Gobelli. It's everything, and I'll see you next week. Every week, new video. Ciao!